Love makes one little room and everywhere. A poet once wrote that, love makes one little room and everywhere. It's true, isn't it? Love can bring everywhere and everything into one small room, one small place. Jesus did that the night before he died. He told his disciples to go into the city and prepare a room to celebrate the Passover. And tradition says the room where he celebrated the Last Supper with his disciples was near the temple. Now, earlier that week, Jesus ate a meal in Bethany with Martha and Mary and Lazarus and his own disciples. Bethany would have been a safer, friendlier place to celebrate the Passover, you would think. But uh, Jesus chose to celebrate it near the temple, the place of God's presence. And though it was a celebration, there was a great uneasiness in that room that night. Jesus announces that one of them will betray him. They were all going to abandon him. So what would he do? What would we do? Jesus could have responded with the cry of the prophet Isaiah that we hear this week. I've toiled in vain for nothing, uselessly spent my strength. But instead of retreating into hurt or anger, Jesus takes bread and gives it to his disciples. Take this, he said. This is my body. He took the cup and gave it to them. This is my blood, the blood of the new covenant to be poured out in behalf of many. That night in that room, he knelt before his disciples who were going to abandon him and washes their feet that night in that room, he gave himself to his Father and to all of us. Love makes one little room and everywhere we were there. Love washed our feet and love was given to us too in the bread and the cup. Do this in memory of me, Jesus says. On Holy Thursday, we remember and we give thanks.